if God has taken you out of Egypt, look for the lessons. Look for the wisdom of God. He began to, he wanted to change their appetites. For their appetites were conformed to flesh and filled. God began, God said, hey, I'm going to teach you now to be chastened. Portion. I want to jump here, but next week, I love how God began to tell them, on this day, you have to put up double because to put up something for a rainy day. As I'm reading this story again with fresh eyes, I'm just seeing the wisdom of God say, hey, the appetite wrong, I don't give them appetite here. And he has begun to methodically, purposely began to change them, that transforming of their mind. How open are you? Are you still in the process? Because I don't know, some of us save after where we, we park. Especially when you save long. And in this thing, you park. Because you arrive, you know it all. Hello? Plenty of questions. One of the worst things you can do is graduate. Spoke to a young man recently, just graduated, master's in theology, had a chance to speak to him. <laughs> And he said, you know, what advice can you give me, um, Pastor Matthew? And I said to him, as an older minister, to a younger minister, I said, bro, never graduate. Because graduate, when, when we hear the word graduate, it speaks of completion, of arriving. I have graduated with honors. I said to him, stay in school every day. And I think you can have a master's in maths, Physics, psychology. I would never. Who, who, what, what mortal man can dare raise his hand and say he have a master's in God? His ways are not our ways. From everlasting to everlasting. And you can tell me you want a piece of paper on the wall. Master, master of God or master in God? Really? Some of us married 40 years and don't even have a master's in our spouse. We don't even know them that well. We're still learning them. Oh boy. I was making his face straight ahead, right? But somehow we have mastered the God of the universe, right? Why are you laughing? 